All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's one other thing I need to talk about with significant figures. When we're making a measurement, we always want to record our measurement as precisely as possible. So we record all the digits we can read exactly, and then we estimate one digit. All of those are significant. When we do calculations, we have rules now in order to round off to the correct number of significant figures. However, there's a couple of situations that we've not discussed. And I want to talk about those now. Those two situations are when you have counts, when you're counting a number of things, or when you have definitions. In both of those cases, our numbers are exact. There's not an estimate. Okay? Let me give you an example. You know that there are 12 inches in one foot. This, however, is not a measurement. This is a definition. It is exact. So if you're doing a conversion, you would not look at this and say, oh, that has two significant figures, or that has one significant figure. Because they are definitions, those numbers are exact, which means they have as many significant figures as we want them to have. You don't have to worry about the significant figures and definitions. Another situation that comes up where you get numbers that are exact is when you are counting things. If I was counting the number of people in a class, it's not an estimate. If I count that there are 25 people in a class, there are exactly 25 people in a class. It's not maybe 24, maybe 26. So anytime that you have something that is exact, whether that's a definition or a count, don't worry about their significant figures. They make no difference in your rounding. 